This video will show you how to create the clustered column chart for the tutorial preparation week in work in week one uh, using Excel for Windows. So if, if you're on the Mac, there's a, a Mac one, a Mac video that you should go to. Uh, the spreadsheet of data that you have looks like this. So we have the numbers of employees per industry in 1986 and 2016 and we want to create a cl clustered column chart of this data. Uh, in particular, we want to represent these numbers on the chart. So not the totals, just the rest of them. So we'll select those, just like that. And then we'll go to Insert. And there's a whole range of charts here. And in particular, these are the column options right here. So let's just select a two column, 2D column chart like that. And then it just shows up on the worksheet immediately over here. And you can leave it there, that would be fine. Or if you, um, sorry, if you right click kind of on the, on the boundary like that and say, move the chart, you can put the chart, instead of it just not being on the worksheet with your numbers, you can send it off to its own standalone worksheet, um, which I kind of usually prefer to do, don't have to. Um, it's to you. We'll just give that a name, just clustered column chart. You can call it whatever you like. So there it is. There's our new chart. Now the problem with that obviously is uh, the columns are nice, but we need some labels. Um, a quick way to get started is to choose one of these quick layouts that Excel provides for us. Layout 1 provides us with a title, a chart title that we like. And it also provides us with, whoops, if I go off it, I'll lose it. It also provides us with a, a legend with the series one and two. So let's select that. So here's the title, here's the legend. We, we want both of those. So first of all, if we just uh, double click on the title like that, then we can edit the text for it. So, you know, employment by industry. And we should say how we're measuring this. It's in thousands of people. So there's our, that's our uh, employment title. Now we also need to change what's going on in the series one and two. That's not a very informative legend. We want to change that to correspond to the observations for 1986 and 2016. And we also need to change what's going on with the x-axis here because we, need, we want to have the industry, uh, the industry labels down there. So let's um, format the actually what we want to do is not so much format them is we want to change the data options so i've clicked on select data over here and now see we have the series one and the series two and we want to change those to more informative names so i'll click on edit and the series name is going to be 1986 okay we don't want to change the data just the name of it so we'll go 1986 and notice that's changed it here 1986 is now on the legend and we'll do the same for series two we'll click on edit and go 2016 for the series name that's good and in order to get the industry names along here instead of just those numbers uh, we'll go to these we want the horizontal category axis labels that's what we want so if we go edit and it asks us for a range this is what we want so um, we'll click on the worksheet and just go and select all of those names down to there. Okay, so that's going to be our x axis labels now. I'll press enter and OK, and you can see that that's, that's brought them up there nicely. Uh, so that could be the final kind of chart we'd be happy with that uh, uh, the it's it's got all these so I'm going to just click over here it's got all these axis these grid lines here and sometimes they're good because they kind of allow you to line up the bars or sometimes they can make the picture look a little bit uh, cluttered also notice that there's no vertical axis here so if we click on this and then we get the axis options and then line here and let's say we want a solid line for that axis. So we'll just select solid right there. 
and you can see that we now have a solid line on the, uh, on the y-axis. And we could also select these major grid lines. I've just clicked on one of those grid lines. And if we said no line, then they get removed. So you don't have to remove them. You could leave them there, or you could remove them. And either way, we end up with a chart that looks something like that, which is quite nice.